Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ollie 43 and this is my super realistic series here in Planet Coaster where I'm taking real money and putting it into Planet Coaster and I have to budget for everything. It's freaking insane. Uh, so in my last episode, let me just give you a quick little tour. We uh, opened up our movie studio bike ride, which um, is proving very popular right now. As you can see, we've got a full house. Oh, yes. Pretty damn cool. And then we've also got the bobsled and all that stuff. But we finished up with this little chairlift, which takes us to our little secret getaway up here. So today in this episode, I've got a plan for a new coaster. Uh, I'm nervous about it because it's going to be expensive. One, two, it's going to require a bit of finessing because what I want to do isn't necessarily what I'll be able to do. More on that later, uh, but yeah, so if you enjoy these videos, thumbs them up, subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell, and let's get into building that freaking coaster. Okay, so one thing you may have noticed is we've kind of got an entrance to our park here, but really, there's nothing really at the entrance. I would like to make a change to that today, because the plan is to use this coaster, the Hydraulic Sprint 500, one of my most favorite rides in the game, as you guys know, plenty of videos on that. It's freaking insane. Um, but my plan is I'm going to start it here, right? And then I'm going to launch it at the mountain. <laughs> so I want to build a coaster that basically goes along here, launches up, does a loop near where we are, and then back down, kind of doing its thing. That's my plan. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but if I do, it will be one of the most exciting rides and also, it will make the picnic area of our secret getaway mountain all that much bit better. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so you might have noticed I've kind of put it out a weird angle and also not right up against the path. That's because we're going to need space for a queue and for the vehicle to obviously make it back here. So I've kind of given myself a little bit of leeway. I don't really mind that too much. But the first thing we're going to do is just slowly bring it around the corner and kind of get it at pointing at the mountain that's the first plan so let's go ahead and do that uh i don't want to do this for too long because i don't want to affect our excitement rating but i think that is a good starting point there we go okay on second thought i'm actually uh, that's not working so what i'm actually going to do is have it start near the go-kart track and completely bypass it and i'll try and get something else there another episode um i really wanted to have it there and kind of go in this direction but because i can't have the launch turn or go up and i have no flexibility i just need a freaking like a straight line uh it, it's basically meaning that i can't really do exactly what i want so yeah it's gonna be uh it's gonna be tricky but we can use this to kind of line ourselves up and then we'll have plenty of room to do what we actually want which is uh, maximum speed. So there we go. So I think that will get us where we want to go. Maybe a smidgen's over. There we go. All right. Okay, let's do this. So we, like we said, 112 miles an hour. Launch delay. Let's leave them quick and in their boots. Let's go for a six seconds. And there we go. We're going to go up to this speed. <laughs> or this length. I think that should be enough. Okay, so now it's all about the ascent. So I'm trying, I what I need to be careful of is not applying too much g-force to anyone riding this. And that means a slow AF, freaking slow ascent, if you like. So I need some really slow, careful angles here. And just, I need to take my time with it and not go too crazy. So I'm not even anywhere near where we need to go. But this is a nice little point here. Can I turn off auto? Yes, I can. So I can neaten up the terrain, but I actually really like how it goes underneath both. I think that's really nice. So we're going to have some visual effects and all that good stuff. But right now, this is looking pretty good. Okay, so we have reached where we want to be. Uh, I'm going to pull it back just a little bit here. And this is where I want the track to kind of basically do some weird stuff so I'm gonna see if I can do it here so we want it to do that we want it to be on its side 
and we want it turned. So, <laughs> that was... I have to remember to do it in that order, otherwise I can't make it do this. But I'm hoping by the time we get to this point, we don't have that much speed left. And we only barely make it over this hill. That's what I'm hoping for. So, okay, let's go down. Turn it. There we go. Boom. And the rest should be pretty easy from here. I'm hoping. Again, I need to know whether or not this is going to work. But let me just finish out the build here. Because we're going to build up some speed here going back down. I need to keep that in mind. Oh, wow. That's real close. <laughs> That's real close. <laughs> okay. I like this, though. Like I say, I need to be really careful with these angles here. Oh, my. <laughs> no. I literally just looked at my money. And I have... You can't see it. I have $38. That's why this is red right now. In fact, let me just... On the fly. I don't do this often. Move my head explode my head and show you wow we are so close of going bankrupt this better work <laughs> wow i've i did not expect that i need to i need to speed up some time if we speed up time hopefully we're going to start making more money i can actually get this ride to the end luckily this park is very profitable so all i need to do is just keep kind of leave it running for a while and it does eventually start making money <laughs> i have so little money every track piece costs 300 dollars, and i'm desperately waiting for 300 dollars just so i can finish it come on just a little bit closer now okay i can place two more track pieces maybe i can get to the finish oh we did it Whew. Okay, let's see if this works, and that will be a, like a really good starting point. Hopefully, this will this will go well. Um, I do need to do one thing, which is really bugging me. This tree is obviously in the way. Not anymore. But yeah, in terms of this being like maybe one of the coolest rides I've ever made, it's up there, man. It's really up there. I went away, made myself some lunch, come back, and uh, now I've got some money to do the pass. Do a bit of scenery, maybe, and then we can finally test it. Uh, I actually don't know if it even gets over the hill yet, but like I said, I'm pretty confident. If it doesn't get over the hill, I can increase the speed, I can lower the speed of the launch, and hopefully make it work. But yeah, what I've done here is uh, added a little section. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more to it, but this is just to show you what it will look like. So you'll be able to kind of uh, sit and admire the park and, uh, you know, pretty cool. And you have a roller coaster going over your head, which will be absolutely insane. So yeah, let me know what you think about this so far. I'm going to get on, do some scenery, do the paths, and uh, then we're going to test it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is, uh, I'm really excited. I'm absolutely desperate to test this ride. But let me just show you what I've done here, uh, because it's pretty cool. And also something a little bit different that I don't normally do here on the channel in these videos. Uh, so this is a pathway over to where our new ride is, as you can see. Now, I've not done all the scenery. I want to do more uh, behind the scenes, the visual effects on a follow-up video. Um, but as you can see, I've kind of kitted it out, set out to ride and test for this video. Uh, but this is the little pathway here. So we've got a little kind of way to it. There's the entrance, there's the queue, there's the ride. Obviously, you guys have seen it. It looks absolutely awesome. Uh, we've also got a little path along here that goes along the other go-kart track and meets actually where we were before, which is kind of cool. So it's all connected. Now you can get from one side to the other and also background, which is kind of nice. So yeah, that's looking good. Um, you'll also notice this is what's different. I've laid out a little illustration of where the park's next builds are going to be. Uh, it did cost a little bit of money, but honestly, I kind of like it for the series. So what these spots are, in case you're wondering, is what I'm going to areas in which I'm going to put a ride. So imagine I'm kind of doing foundations i'm digging it i'm excavating the land or just i don't know putting planning in but there we go i've put some kind of scenery in just to illustrate that and i think three rides in those little sections will look really good and i'll do them in the next episode but yes the ride uh so we go under here as you guys have seen we go up 
hopefully, <laughs> make it to this point. Go back down. And woof, mind all of this around the park, over the track. It's going to be a really cool ride and hopefully make it here where we've got some brakes. Turn into the corner and head back. So, yeah, as you can see in the top right hand corner, it says it's not been tested. It's a little bit nerve wracking, honestly. Uh, there's one little curve that I want to smoothen out if I can. Where is it? It was like around here somewhere that I just w went past and I was like, mm, that might need a little bit of refinement. I actually can't see it now. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. But let me know what you think of it in the comments. It might not even work, but here we go. Let's test it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it and watch it. If it's all green ratings, I'm then going to go ahead and do it in first person view. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So stick with me. Let's do this start test. All right, here we go. Uh, we should probably see the ratings, I suppose. Okay, rolling along. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, this is so tense. By the way, I changed this bit to go pretty much instantaneously. Vroom. Wow, that's so cool. 96 miles an hour. Oh my. Okay, we had quite a bit of headroom there. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. We had a little bit of headroom there. But, uh, wow. Okay, let's see how it gets back. Some braking. 60 miles an hour. Oh, that's pretty quick. 39. 37 miles an hour. Okay, fingers crossed. That looked good. Yes! Okay, so we got a 7 excitement rating. A six fear and a three nausea. I'm gonna quickly ride it in first person view. Let's see what this looks like in first person view. <laughs> I need to see that what it, what a customer would feel going over that edge. I'm gonna go into seat. No, we're definitely seat one. Here we go. Oh man, that was close. Here we go. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Yeah, we need some effects like fireworks or explosions. Wow. Okay. That worked really freaking well. Let's see the results quickly. They look awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.